Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna create a look with the Natasha Denona Biba palette. I'm trying to rekindle that loving feeling with this palette. <laughs> I'm not even sure I ever really had that loving feeling with this palette, but this is my most expensive neutral palette in my collection. And I've had it for quite some time now. I've had it over three years. I've had it going on three and a half years now. I really feel like I should have gotten more use out of this palette. And I really feel like I should love this palette way more than I do. But today I'm going to create a look and see if I can love the way that it turns out. So stick around, we're getting into it now. I've already got my makeup on. I'm gonna just tie my hair back. All right, so I'm ready to go in with the Biba palette now. I struggle with this palette just because the shades of brown are so warm. I prefer a little bit more of a neutral brown or a cool tone brown. And we do have these slightly more cooler tone shades here, but I just, I also struggle with the formulas that she chose for some of the shades. So I don't know, we're just, we're gonna see if I can come up with we're gonna see if I can come up with something that I like today. I don't normally like the looks that I create with this palette. So let's just see what happens. I'm gonna start off with this shade here. I am wearing the About Face Foundation. I'm currently wearing the shade Light, uh, light to Olive. I think that's right. It's a great shade match for me right now. I'm really enjoying this foundation. I do have a video trying on the, the foundation and sharing my thoughts with you. If you're interested in that, I'll leave that video linked up here in the eye and down below in the description box. Check that out when this video is over if you missed it and if you're interested. But um, yeah, I am going to try to not get any fallout because I do have my base already done and I don't want to have to redo my makeup. I am starting off so far so good. Okay, I'm gonna just blend that shade out a little bit on the edge with, with this particular Hakahoto brush. There's the number. I'm gonna use this cream shade down here. Okay, that that really does look pretty. I've never used that technique with this palette before. So <laughs> I'm glad that I'm trying different things and that I'm coming up with different results that make me happy. I was at first thinking that I was gonna do like a halo eye because I haven't done one in a while, but I think not. I think I'm just gonna stick with how this is turning out so far. And next, I'm gonna take this little Hakahoto brush right here. It's a little bitty shader. And I'm going to deepen up that crease with this, mm, this brown matte here. The one that's right next to the shade that I used for the crease. I do like the way that looks so far. <laughs> uh, here's where things start to get tricky because there's basically just like these soft satin colors, but honestly, I've never wet my brush trying to amp any of these like satins or any of the shimmers in here, any of the metallics. I've never wet my brush to try to amp up any of the metallics in this palette. So I think I'm gonna to try to do that today. And let's see. 
I mean, really, there's only this shade and that shade. So I'm going to use this shade here on the majority of the lid and this on the inner corner. Okay, I'm going to use this Hakahoto brush here for this beautiful shade here. Maybe instead of wetting the brush, I should try glitter glue. Let's try that. And I'm just going to use my finger this time because I don't feel like messing with a brush. And I don't want it to be that exact of a placement. I kind of want to like move it around. I already have that shade on my brush. Uh, yeah see even with the glitter glue like that's as that's as good as it's going to get <laughs> which is why i think that even though i am a matte girly the shimmers in this palette just like really let me down i'm not even much of a shimmer girl to begin with but the thing is that they're just so satin-like and that would be fine with me if the shades of the mattes were like right up my alley. But because I'm not happy with the mattes and the shimmers don't satisfy me, I just don't really like this palette that much. I mean, I like it enough. I'm not, I'm not going to declutter it or anything. I'm just saying... That's why it hasn't been a go-to for me. I mean, uh, maybe if I was still working and I didn't have as many palettes, maybe then I would have gotten more use out of it. But I don't know. It's just the way that it turned out and the way things are in reality. I just don't reach for this palette that much. And every time that I do, I'm just like, meh, about the looks that I create. So I'm not done yet. I'm still trying to make myself like this a little bit more. <laughs> um, I'm going to take this Refer 26 into Monroe, which is the lightest shade in the palette. And I'm going to put that here for a little bit of glimmer when the light catches, just the slightest bit, because there really isn't much. And then... And just take that up into the lid. And just a hint in the arch. Oops, wrong one. That was a bit much, so now I need to do a bit much over here. Okay, mm, I feel like I need to blend it or something. Okay, so I'm just going to take this clean brush and just kind of blend everything together. Soften up my lines and see if I can like that better. I mean, I do think the look is pretty. It's just like nothing to write home about. Like, it's okay. It's just not, like, my favorite. I don't know. It's something about it. It's definitely just too warm. I, I think it's just too warm. That's all. I'm going to take this shader from Hakahoto. And I'm going to see how this works as a lower lash line shader. And I'm going to use this dark brown. It's a little scratchy for that. Not, not a good idea. I won't do that again. It's definitely a lid shader and not a lower lash line brush. <laughs> it fits fine. It's just, it's too scratchy for that. This is just like something clean and soft. I'm going to just blend that bottom line a little bit. There, that does look better. 
Okay, the last little bit that I wanna do is, I'm gonna take this little pencil from Sonia G and I'm gonna go into the black. Just a little bit of it. Right here in the corner, just kind of upward, like the shape of a wing, but a little bit smoky. Mm, okay, I do like that a lot. <laughs> I do like that a lot, lot, lot. Okay, here is the eye look all done. Let me add a little bit of mascara. I don't even think I'm going to go in with any eyeliner. I might, I'm going to do some brown eyeliner on the lower lash line. I'm going to use my Natasha Denona Macro Tech Eyeliner on the lower lash line. And I'm going to go in with the white for the inner waterline. Now I'm just going to top the look off with a little bit of mascara and I'll be right back to show you the completed look. Okay, friends, here's the finished look with the Biba palette. And I have to say, I love the way that it turned out. <laughs> I'm really glad too, because I was like kind of giving this palette the side eye, but I have to say that I am feeling the love now. So I'm really glad that I pulled this palette out today and played with it. And I really love the way that the look turned out. So yeah, now I want to know what your thoughts are on this palette. Do you have this palette? Have you picked this palette up on sale? Natasha Denona runs really good sales on her website. I do have an affiliated discount code that you can use if you're interested in supporting me and my channel. I would greatly appreciate that. No pressure, of course. Um, the code is Michelle, M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. I will have that here on the screen. Once again, that's Michelle. All right, and that'll save you 15% off your order. So yeah, if you did choose to use that code, thank you so much, I really appreciate that. But yeah, I really am glad that I got some more use out of this palette. Has this palette been on your wish list? I'd like to know. It's certainly been out for a long time, but it is a classic and a go-to neutral palette for many of my friends on my Instagram. So I'm really glad that I was able to get a look that I really, really enjoy out of this palette today. So yeah, that's gonna do it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching and supporting my channel like you always do. It really does mean so much to me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to click the like button. It really does help my small channel out so much. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.